The building regulations problems are still going on. I'm due in court in a couple of days time. I'm hanging out for an email from the Welsh Government. I'm hoping they're going to offer some kind of interim solution um, which would take the pressure off enormously and would mean that I can start focusing on Christmas rather than emails. I'm sort of aware that building regs is like an ongoing problem but Christmas is on its way and the kids want like really expensive electrical gear which they're not going to get and um, and there's every day when they open their advent calendar just thinking oh no only like 14 13 12 days oh, it's Christmas so um, yes I'm more sort of worried about the storms and the leaky pipes and Christmas and our kids as usual kind of um it was quite uh, calm calm Matilda said that the other day it's very calm it's, it's less less hectic yeah it's kind of nice and warm and spacious feels spacious I know it's tiny but it feels spacious yeah so um yeah yeah that's it. it's just kind of nice and relaxed <laughs> sort of it's not really <laughs> but anyway it was it was briefly relaxed and calm I had to make use of the water in the caravan while I was there and wash some pizza pans hmm. the poor cat's really confused because um she goes and sits in the caravan and wonders why nobody's there. Sleeps in here the best night. In the warm. So it's a very small house um, for a family of five, but. Um, In the caravan in the winter, we only really sat in the living room space, and uh, and so this is bigger than the living room space in the caravan, and it does feel somehow more spacious and glamorous, just the height of it all and the warmth. It feels homely, but um, it is very small. <laughs> We're going to eventually have sleeping platforms so the children can all be sort of up in the air like on a bunk bed and there'll be storage spaces below. It's funny because um, obviously we're not really used to living in here and um, we lie in bed kind of just like listening to any little crack or noise going, oh, what's that? Like is it a leak? Is it... Is the rain raining in through the chimney? Is the chimney falling over? Is the house falling down? We're kind of really paranoid. As soon as there's a, a sound, we're like, shush children, listen. <laughs> but there was an overwhelming push from me to get in before Christmas. It was just like, there's two options. Either we, we're in that roundhouse by Christmas or we're going back to Liverpool. It felt like that to me. And um, yeah, I was just, frantic at the end and giving everything I'd got, you know, angle grinding, um, the half tiles at sort of midnight in the <laughs> outside the clamp. I don't feel quite there yet actually because of building regs. I'm not really supposed to be in because <laughs> we've got, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want them to find out we're kind of in because really it may, it may compromise the court case but they'll probably find out anyway so you know they, they're taking us to court intending to move in so we might as well be in really yeah yeah so, but anyway so yeah um so i until that's until that's completed i i can't really totally relax about it 
Yeah. It's nice to have wood for the winter. It gives you a nice rosy glow. Yeah. 